Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle for Earth, and welcome back to Metro Exodus, where we are continuing along the uh, the train to find out what's next. Hello there. Don't worry, Artyom. Everything will be okay. Nope, I'll that's a lie. Strong. That, well, she may be strong, but she's also dying. Olga, Alyosha here. I'm online as promised. I hope you can hear me. Hmm. Nothing. Can we play the piano? We did examine no. the dam and reservoir. You have to leave the valley as soon as possible, at least before the rainy season starts. Ah, now that gives him a little while, perhaps. Holding, and if it gives, the valley will be washed away, and everything that remains will be deadly. Leave tomorrow, or even better, yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Talk to the other girls. Get them to raise the issue at the council session. Even the pirates will have to obey if it passes. Just leave me a note so that I know which end of the world to follow you to once I'm back. We should probably go this way, right? We should probably go this I way. I have to bid you farewell. At least until tomorrow. Au revoir. Yeah. I hope she heard that. Yeah, Ray me too. In the church after all. But with Olga, even Satan himself wouldn't stop her. Much less a stupid taboo. Hmm. Let it. Yep, he's going to continue staring at the radio. Oh, look! We have loads of bunnies! Um, whatever that is. Huh. It's not really, like, refrigerated here in any way. Oh. <laughs> I could have a smoke break, but I'm not going to do that. I don't smoke, so ah, neither does he. <laughs> you are in the way. Hi. How is she? Not well. Well, we have new start, and it seems to be bad. We haven't had any other variety in a long time. No. So Take a seat, Bratucha. This conversation is not going to be simple, I think. Okay. Until today, we thought that this shot of Novosi Pierce caused a simple error. What's we were wrong? It. The legend says irradiated zones are highlighted in shades of green, while purple highlights indicate errors. Today, though, I found some small print. The thing is, radiation levels way outside of normal operational range of the scanner are also marked as errors. Oh, great. <laughs> Simply put, the radiation there may well be completely off the scale. We're about 500 clicks from Novosibirsk, and the radiation wow. outside is almost as high as back in there. Moscow. It got me a morehead. Ah, the shots are 20 years old. The radiation can't be quite as high now, but still. Novosibirsk is most probably. So what do we do now? Doctor. I'll tell you what we do. Artyom and I will go. This is not right. the other way. We go no, together. Sir, not our please. Way first. She is my daughter. His wife. My paranoia about the occupation forces drove her into that damned bunker. Mm. And Artyom with his dream. He dragged us out of Moscow. So we too are to blame. Still, we are the Order. We are one crew and we should all act accordingly. We should all go. Discussion is closed. No. This is not an Order mission. Don't get this everybody irradiated. Help. Mine and Artyom's. We don't need any help. Second, we don't know the exact location of the medicine. It might be in the city center or in one of the Academ Gorodok labs. So Anna's life might well end up in your hands, too. Mm. Third and last, wherever we might go, winter is coming. And getting the Aurora stuck in snow is what? Deadly. Not fun? That's something we can't allow. Huh. Do you remember what Yermak said? Reminds the huge railway technology museum at the city outskirts. We'll almost certainly find a snowplow for the Aurora there. Ah. So gentlemen, your missions are to search the Academ Gorodot labs and prepare Aurora for the winter. Cool. Crew, get ready for the mission. Right. Also, we are starting constant radiation level monitoring outside. Effective immediately. Yeah. Sam, you're first. 
Yes, sir. <laughs> I think that lethal radiation levels then are actually good news for us. What? Uh, you mean there was nobody left to rob the drugstores and hospitals? <laughs> ah, I suppose exactly. so. Unlike the towns we've been to. Either that, or there would be no medicine because loads of people would have needed it. An update on the source. Yes, what's the situation? I managed to assemble only two complete ones. Right. You see, they're for Artyom and me. It's fate, that's what it is. <sighs> Will they help? Well, they'll protect you from dust. But even the direct radiation there is so high, it could... Yes, uh, can you add more protection? <sighs> sure, Yormak does have some lead sheets in store. But the Ooh, suits are rather bulky and heavy as it is. <laughs> We aren't exactly attending a dance party there. <laughs> How much time will it give us? A couple of hours. Not enough, I think. Mm. Better than nothing. Don't worry. We'll make do. Well, we'll have, have to. Fun. We'll have no choice in the matter. I shielding to the car's cabin. Try to stay inside for as long as you can out there. Thanks. Get on it then. Yes, Colonel Sir. Alright. Okay. So we're going to have outfits. Still, I can't help worry. It's such a huge risk. So many good people died from radiation it could be exposure such in a railway cruise. Risk. But Moscow had nothing on the radiation levels they're going to face. Maybe. Nah, these people <laughs> don't really care about risks. You know them well enough. Hey, tell me about that museum. I... When did you learn about it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Ah, well, stuff, uh, things, let's go. <laughs> we don't need metal. to listen to them babble on about the, uh, the museum. Anna isn't giving up. She believes in me. Yeah. Believes in us. And for a good reason. Thousands of kilometers of track behind us. We are finally approaching Novosibirsk. A dead city concealing her hope for life. The medicine that could save her. Somewhere in its cold, irradiated heart. A year ago, we left the poisoned ruins of Moscow. And now we are about to enter another city stiff in the murderous embrace of winter and radiation. Will we ever find somewhere to live on the surface? Maybe. But for now, we're returning back into the bowels of Metro. Ooh. Back to Savannah. Hmm... Technically, there was like the other side of the dam. We could have we could have stayed on the other side of the dam. We didn't have to be in the valley, right? I mean, sure, it had massive and hideously dangerous bear, but aside from that, it was fine. Right here we go, and we're in. Right, we're here. Oh, look at it! It's snow and ice again. Wow! Oh, it does look cool. Oh, cold. Or one of the one of the two. Hmm. Oh, should I be moving? No. It's one of those sequences. Hi. What do you know? We're here, Novosibirsk. I sure hope this time it's not another bunch of nuts. The radiation counts is going mad. The bridges are undamaged, and the radiation's climbing like crazy. Hmm. I think there will be no nutcases this time. Monsters, though. Well, the houses are undamaged too. Cool. Sam, what's with the radiation? Eight times higher than in Moscow and still climbing, Colonel. Oh, lovely. I think we'd better not stay outside for too long here. Hmm. Are you ready, Artem? Of course. I'm going to die, aren't I? <laughs> Follow me. One of us is going to die. This is how it works, Relax. right? You can rely on us. Huh. Careful. It looks a mite slippy. We should be inside. It does look amazing. I mean, look at all those icicles. <laughs> hmm. Surely icicles appear on things that are cold 
and have gone to normal temperatures and then gone back to cold again, right? Still, time is short, so we're taking the direct approach. Let's refresh the plan. Here, Mac. We'll take the Aurora south to the Sibirskaya cargo station. Uh, I'm Martin Esteban. Christ, Sam, Idiot, and I will handle the Institute building in Akadem Gorodok. We'll pay a visit to the Railroad Museum on the way. There might be something for the Aurora. I wouldn't go there. I'm to guard the Aurora with Tokarev. Good. Artyom and I are checking the Institute's main building. Radiation is way too high here, so we'll try to get there through the metro. I want to go to the museum. Let's get to it. The museum sounds fun. I do like museums. Hello. Thank you. I'll try. <laughs> Could do with a, another. Um... Hi. Another go at the uh, the. Are you going out on a mission to save Armory thing. Yes. Could you please watch over her for us until Artyom and I come back? Please? Of course. Teddy and I will be her guards. <laughs> will you help me, Teddy? Private Teddy, mission acknowledged. Good show, kid. Goodbye, Uncle Artyom. See ya. I'm gonna try and come back. Don't worry oh, about Aunt Anna. Teddy and I will watch over her. They've actually given us steam from a breath. That's really cool. <laughs> right. <laughs> She's sleeping. Are you leaving? Yes. Yes. I hope we'll make it in time. Anna is strong. She'll be here for you. She definitely will. Just make sure you come back. No, yeah, that's the Thank you, hope. Katya. I'm always worried that when they bring somebody else out with me come that they're going to die on the way. Oh, I'm supposed to come in? Why? I thought she was asleep. The attack ended. I did my best. So you don't have to worry. Her pulse is strong. She's just exhausted. Good. She'll probably sleep till tomorrow now. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Well, there's nothing really that I can do. So, you know. Uh, good luck. Come back soon. I will. Seeing you would be the best medicine. Yes, thanks. <laughs> good luck, Joe. Thank you. Your gear, Colonel, sir. Ooh, Thank you. What about my gear? Artyom, this is no Moscow where you could loiter outside for months. Hey. Who knows what monsters live here? So think well what to pack. I'll be yeah, with you that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> okay, so I've got to think well what Get to pack. Up, Artyom. I cleaned your guns and put all the ammo and resources we had left in here. You're going to okay. need it. Let's consider this, shall we? Because we really are going to need as much as we can carry. So let's craft more of that. Craft as much of that as we can have. Good. We need as much as everything as we can have. So let's get as much as we can have. That's good. Am I going to run out of supplies? I might do. Ooh. Crikey. Okay. Hmm. The explosive bolts should be fun. Okay, we've got all of that. Is there anything else that we can do? Now, what gun should we take? I mean, stealthful would be good, but at the same time, we need to be able to take on anything that comes our way. Which means that we need some high-powered, like, good fast guns as well, right? So, I don't know. What does this give us? Ah, this gives us access to all of these. One of them needs to be a high-powered gun. Uh, I mean, we've got this stealth option. We don't need two stealth options, so this one shouldn't be really a stealth option. So let's go with a uh, a, a high-powered fast fast gun. Hmm. That one seems like a good idea, doesn't it? So let's replace that. Good. Uh, I'm going to still want it to have some sort of um, suppressor, because... Because... I like it to have a suppressor. Uh, standard barrel and compensator. No, we'll go with the suppressor. Install. Now, it's not got much damage. But it's pretty good with uh, the other bit. Hmm. That's probably the best one for this. So let's go with that. 
And it wants a nice big magazine. Biggest magazine we can have. Great. Uh, what's this? No gadget. Red laser. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Let's go with the red laser. Okay, so that should be set up. Uh, I don't know what that's for. Okay, that's more more of that. Let's have that. Great. So we've got one um, fast-firing gun. That's that's definite. Uh, this one's a uh, sort of pistol -y type gun. So let's see. That's got six rounds, right? Yes, it's got six rounds. Good. It's got a times four scope. That's uh, that's pretty nice. Uh, let's see. The infrared laser. But we can't see that, right? Whereas we can see that. Mm. Maybe I should go with this one. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Let's go with this one for now. I'm sure it's all right. Uh, so, yeah, that's all set up fine. This, however, we have not really messed with at all. So, compound bow. Let's see what this one does. Twin bow. Compact and powerful pulley system ensures extremely high... Uh, bolt velocity. Hmm. So that does more damage. And this one has rate of fire. Faster rate of fire. Interesting. That might be good, but it might produce sound because it's uh, like pneumatic. So maybe it produces sound, right? Huh. I don't know. Let's go with the this one. Uh, that's just a normalish sight. Don't want that. Yes, maybe that. And this is small magazine, or medium magazine, or heavy magazine, high capacity rounds. Definitely that one. Alright, and we have no gadget, or red laser. Huh. Red laser can someone sometimes be a little bit um, wrong, though. Hang on, what, what, what? What's this? Well, that reduces the damage significantly. <laughs> but it gives us a magazine. Higher rate of fire and stability. Now, nah, I'll keep with the damage, I think, on that one. Alright, so this. All set. All set. And all set. Brilliant. Okay, so that's all good. And the compass. Oh, we did have the metal detector. I don't remember picking up the metal detector. Uh, but apparently we got it. I don't know. Maybe the other guy picked it up. I have no idea. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go with the compass and the usual thing, I think. Maybe. Bracer. What does the metal detector do, anyway? Previously used in mining for locating mineral deposits via directional scanning. The device was reconfigured to respond to small quantities of metal. Uh, ignoring the large metal objects scattered everywhere after the war. Helps to find resources used in crafting. Yes, but basically I've not had any trouble finding resources anyway. So I don't know whether that's, that's worthwhile. Maybe we'll just keep with the compass because the fact is I'm terrible at directing myself. So maybe that's the best. All right. Heading out time. Lovely. Where's he gone? There he is. Hi. You ready? You ready? That's what I said. We are. Oh, we're going in the vehicle. Artem, here's your chance. Our last chance to save Anna. Yes. We must make it count. Mm-hmm. We'll work on it, eh? Oh, I need to get on the other side, don't I? Oh, am I driving? Why am I driving? I don't want to drive. Oh, I'm not driving. Oh, good. <laughs> I can't drive, mate, so that's good. Uh-huh. Oh, are they leaving? Where are they going? Hmm. See ya, folks. It's almost as if it's the last time I'll be going to the uh, the thing because they're making a a big a big do out of this. All those carriages stuck here. I failed evacuation, I presume. Maybe. And Let's I... try to get into the square behind the station. The metro entrance should be there. Huh? 
This isn't exactly an off-road vehicle, is it? All right. Walking here would be easy. We should minimize our exposure. So here goes nothing. Ah. It's going to smash it into the place and leave us stuck. We should have stayed in the nice valley. I mean, if we'd have stayed above the waterline. <laughs> Ooh, it looks so dangerous. <laughs> Here we go. Eventually, we're going to get stuck. You're going up the stairs now? Ooh, tank. Yeah. Wow. Stairs are usually at quite an angle. This is a good vehicle. If it's uh, climbing those, no problem. That's a lot of cars. Yeah. The army had the traffic blocked. The town got hit smack in the middle of evacuation. Hmm. There's going to be tons of corpses. You getting out here? Why here? <laughs> I stand by my former statement. We're definitely not entering the metro through here. Too much snow. Right, what's the plan then? Take the wheel, Artyom. I'll handle the navigation. We you better joking? Use the map here. No time for driving in circles. You want me to drive? All right. The map puts the metro entrance quite close to our position. Oh no! I'm driving. This is terrible. <laughs> Careful, mind the car. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna drive into everything. That's what I do. Turn the lights on. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like it at all. Snow, ice. This road should get us to the city center. Take uh -huh. it, but keep looking around. There might be a way into the metro on the way. Okay, keep your eyes out. I, I don't want to go along this road. Oh, <laughs> so much snow. Mm. And this storm is getting worse by the minute. Yeah. Is it way that way? How about Weird that way? Feeling. The buildings are intact, but the city is dead. Don't you think Moscow was better, eh? I do think Moscow was better. Better than this. This is horrible. What's that? I can't see because this blooming post's in the way. Okay, there's nothing there, I think. Alright. Keep going then. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Don't know! <laughs> we'll just keep going again. Right, can I turn the lights on? Oh, that was with the lights on. Wonderful. Alright. Just be weird things hanging from the. Hanging from the lines over there. All right, okay. Turn right. There is nowhere else to go. Yep, yep, yep. That's that's the plan. There's going to be something big and nasty, isn't there? There was something big and nasty in the other place, and that was a nice place. On the left. I'm going. I'm going. Don't rush it. We're done for if we get stuck. We're totally going to get stuck, and then you're going to blame me. You deliberately left go this, didn't you? <laughs> He lets me take over when he thinks that we're going to get stuck, so he can blame me for getting stuck afterwards. Nah. This is definitely getting stuck sort of territory. We're gonna get stuck. Careful, Arthur. Careful. I think we should stop here. Ooh, light. Nice. Uh, and we're through. I totally thought we were going to get stuck there. Worse, as well as the yeah. We can't stay here. I'm working on it. Right. Turn left. It's the only way I can go. <laughs> There's yeah. literally Turn nowhere else. Take us back to the main road. Cool. Right. Through here. I'm going in little bursts, just in case. I don't know if it's the sensible idea. There's a lot of dead cars around here. God damn it! Another car pile! Yeah. 
seems like a tank passed through here. Maybe. Let's follow it. Was it a tank? Or was it a monster? <laughs> He just teleported over to this side. <laughs> Where do you go now? If he can teleport, why are we bothering with the car? <laughs> Wish I could teleport. That'd be fun. Right, out we get. Into the death. Come on, let's go. We have to okay. move, but we're done for. Don't. Yeah. Wow, this looks so cool. Watch out! This snow is deep. Okay. Doesn't appear to be deep for me. I've got no legs. Oh no, I have got legs. Nah. That makes a change. Yeah. Right. Move on. I'm working on it. Ah, oh, this is awesome. We're not making tracks in the snow, though. It's staying exactly the same. I don't. It looks like he might have a track behind him, so I guess it, if I turn the graphics up, it would probably actually do handle that better. But uh, I don't want to murder my PC, so I put it on sort of mediumish graphics and not amazing graphics. We'll just have to settle with what we have, which is to say, what works. Hmm. Well, we would have got stuck here anyway. What's next? Okay. Looks like it. Oh dear. That wasn't very careful. Through the bus? Oh, thanks for just moving me out of the way. Okay, let's change my foot. I thought that too. Great idea. You're sending me first, aren't you? Yeah, I thought you might. Oh, it's a slide. Whee! Yeah. Oh dear. Well, that works. <laughs> but surely he'll end up in the same spot. So I better move quickly. Right. We're in. Yeah. Let's find a way to the city center. We shall. But we shall find a way to the city center. In the next episode, because I'm all out of time. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.